Hi everyone, this is a student video explaining how to complete a digital crossword puzzle. So this is made for students completing a digital science crossword puzzle. This is using Google Sheets. So if you're working on an iPad or touch screen device, you'll want to make sure that you have the app downloaded Google Sheets. If you're working on a Chromebook, it should just pop up as a website. So the first sheet down here is going to be your reading and your informational text. It says water cycle reading. So whenever you click here, it will take you to the informational text. The other sheet is going to be your crossword puzzle. So when you click on the crossword puzzle, it will take you to the puzzle. Some of my other activities may have extra sheets down here, but most of them just have two. So students start by reading the informational text. You want to read it carefully. And as you're reading, I recommend taking notes in your science journal. I would write down all of the words in bold and try to find a definition for each of those words. And that will really, really help you when you get to the crossword puzzle if you've taken good notes to begin with. So after you've read through this, you are going to go to the crossword puzzle down below by clicking here. To do the crossword puzzle, well, let me read through the directions first, okay? So it says water cycle crossword puzzle. Directions. Hover your mouse above each box with the triangle in the corner to reveal a clue. Use the water cycle reading to help you with the answers. Type the answer into the correct row or column of the puzzle. Good luck. So to do this, you want to hover your mouse over the boxes that have a little black triangle in the top right corner. If you're on an iPad, you will have to tap on that box. And when you tap on it, you can scroll to the right and it says note. Click on note and that will tell you your clue. So let's try two across together. Two across, it says rain, sleet, hail, or snow. And if you took good notes, you probably have that word written down that you need and you might already know it. If you're not sure, go back to this tab down here to the water cycle reading and you wanna find the word that means that. With these puzzles, there's lots of strategy that you can do to help you find it. Like you can count the number of spaces or you could look for the clue within the informational text. So this one, precipitation, I've got my definition right next to it, rain, snow, sleet, or hail. That's the word that you need. And if you struggle with spelling, maybe write that down. Okay, so you can even, um, you can even copy it if you tap on this whole thing and copy it. Do something to help you with that spelling because when you go back here, you won't be able to see it again. So do something, maybe write it down so that you can easily spell it out in your puzzle. And I like to turn on my caps for this. So let's get the caps lock on so it looks good. And I'm pressing tab so that I can go over to each box easily without having to click it. So I was just pressing tab to go through. If you're going um, down, you can actually hit um, enter to do the same thing, to go down so you don't have to keep clicking each space individually. So that is precipitation. And as a crossword puzzle lover, the next one that I would do would be this one that starts with a T because I already have a clue that this word is going to be one of my T words. So when water evaporates through a plant for three down. So I'd go back to my reading and I would try to find a word in bold, that's bold that starts with a T, like maybe troposphere, maybe transpiration. I'm not gonna give that one away. So once you know it, you're gonna go back here and type it in, just like that. When you finish, your crossword puzzle, please check out some flashcards to help you with those vocabulary terms. Good luck, you can do this.